Hello Husky Nation. Welcome to this week in Top Shelf Sports. I'm Crystal Tremini here to bring you all the latest in NIU athletics. So let's get started. Social media has been trending over the past couple of days with the news of a former NIU hockey player's sudden death. Pat Warball passed away in his apartment on Sunday evening. The NIU hockey team has released a Facebook and Twitter post saying rest in peace to our brother and former teammate Pat Warble. Warble was dearly loved by everyone and always made you laugh. Rest easy, DJ Warble. I, along with Top Shelf Sports, would like to send our thoughts and prayers to the Warble family through this difficult time. The NIU football team hit the road to Detroit over the weekend to compete in the MAC championship and it was an absolute thriller. The Huskies were down by 19 at the half, but made a ridiculous comeback to beat the Buffalo Bulls 30 to 29. Marcus Childers came up big, airing it out for 300 yards and four touchdowns, including a few to Spencer Tears and the eventual game winner to wide out DJ Brown. Buffalo had one last shot at a potential field goal attempt, but the defense stood tall and NIU brings home the MAC championship for the fourth time in eight seasons. Head coach Rod Carey understands how hard winning can be. No, I am just uh, overjoyed. <clears throat> you know, winning championships is hard, and I am so proud of these, uh, these guys, these student athletes. The Huskies will take on University of Alabama Birmingham in the Cherubundi Boca Raton Bowl on December 18th in Boca Raton, Florida. With the matchup being set for a 7 p.m. Eastern time start, the team will look to win its first bowl game in school history. Moving on to the court, the men's basketball team saw its comeback bid come up a little short as they fell to the Green Bay Phoenix last Wednesday, 85-83. to Junior guard Eugene German scored a career-high 33 points as the trail score, trailed excuse me, the Phoenix by 15 with six minutes to play before closing with a 22-9 run to nearly pull off the improbable comeback. The team's next game is scheduled for Wednesday as they take on UC Davis at home. Tip-off is set for 7 p.m. The NIU wrestling team's strong start last Friday was not enough to beat the Indiana Hoosers. The Huskies won the first match of the evening at 125 pounds, but Indiana quickly caught up and led NIU 20 to 11. The Huskies closed out the night winning the heavyweight class and bringing the final score 20 to 14. The wrestling team will look to bounce back this Friday at 7 p.m. in the Convocation Center. From the mat to the track, women's track and field is preparing for their first meet of the new season. The team will travel Friday to Allendale, Michigan to compete all day in the GVSU Holiday Open. Last season, the track and field team broke seven school records and are looking to keep it going with senior Javanya White, who broke two of those school records. The Husky Marching Band is relocating from the College of Visual Arts to the Athletics Department. The relocation will begin in the fall of 2019 and will look to enhance the band's relationship with athletics, increase its membership, assist with attendance for sporting events, and encourage student enrollment. However, the marching band's office, practice areas, and equipment storage will all remain in the music building. That's all I have for this week's update. Be sure to follow us on social media and tune in to our live show every Friday at 1215. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Husky Nation.